Yes? What is it, Wolf? Been busy with the Griffin contract. And? I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already. Other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there. Data. That's what I said, no regret. of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Watch out! Fast! 
right away! Not bad. Not bad. Though, you could stand to improve some things. For example? Upward vertical strike. It's too obvious. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn.
Come on. Move it. Slow now. Whoa. Faster. Come on. Faster. What the hell is this? Roy! You take me for a blind man or a fool? This grain is rotten. I, I, I didn't know. So, a fool. Damn it, you never learn. Military Codex, Article 2, Section 3. For the delivery of defective goods, 15 lashes with a knout. Make it so. No, no, no! By the gods, no! What? Guess you've dropped your good uncle act. It was no act. I extended a hand to these people. They spat on it. Could it be because it held the sword that killed their loved ones? Tcha! <laughs> a moralist. And what would you do in my stead? Wouldn't ever be in your stead. Tell me why you've come. Fulfilled my end of the bargain. Your turn. Where'd Yennefer go? To Vizima. She was a day's ride from here the whole time? Under my nose? Might have said so. Yes, I might have. But you would not have killed the griffin. Tit for tat. Halt! We are not done. It's yours, this gold. I would not want you to say you were inadequately compensated. Oh, God. 
Greetings. Let me have a look at your stock. Take care. My grand told me about Smithbull. Lad went missing one day, so folk had a witch that was hunting their bikes. They were poking him ass. Something else you'll be needing. Got anything interesting under the counter? Depends what you're after. Have a look. Farewell. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so... Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Who are they? Patriots, drinking their seventh round for Tamaria, fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it, just this once. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colours. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fund of the Imperials. You Nilfgaard's whore. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit. They hang my sister, dragged her out of the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let's my sister go. to the birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. You don't oh. fear it, you cunt! Oh. Leave me be! Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You all right? 
they say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What'd the Emperor promise you, freaks? Your own land, like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. They won't back down now. I can see that. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be! Get away! See his face! God save us! Be gone. And don't ever come back. So much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. started. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Y yen How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Well, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. I wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? You didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Fine. Guess I'm willing to hear him out. The Emperor of Nilfgaard, Lord of Metina, Ebbing and Gamera, Sovereign of Nazair and Vicovaro will feel honored, I'm sure. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Care Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Vesemir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible.
Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then... But then... <laughs> This bard's tale begins near White Orchard, with my dear friend Geralt of Rivia seeking his lover of yore, the sorceress Yennefer. She'd eluded him for years, but now seems just a few steps ahead. After many trials and tribulations, Geralt finally learned that Yen was in nearby Vizima. <laughs> It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Tatwin. We shave the gentleman sideburns to half an inch. What's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. How goes it? Preparations for the audience proceeding as planned. Yes, General. The gentleman will be more or less presentable. Who's this guy? He a barber too? No. Morvran Voris, commander of the Alba division. Yennefer's escort. They were my men, all of them. Indeed, were, for none have returned to Vizima. I truly wonder what happened on the road yesterday. Perhaps you could enlighten me. You have time. And a uh, razor to your throat. Wild Hunt killed them. A cavalcade of wraiths dashing across the night sky. These omens of war the peasantry bubbles about. Expect me to believe that. Frankly, I don't really give a damn. Nordlings, we can bathe you, shave you, and clothe you, but teaching you manners, that will be a challenge. Nice meeting you too. Done. Shall I shave him once more, against the grain? No. 
He himself is very much against the grain. That's enough. Farewell, Witcher. Or rather, see you soon. Good. Now the gentleman may dress. Sadly, I did not receive exact measurements. If the garments chafe, our tailor will adjust them. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. 